In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how you can communicate effectively with the Canadians. And we're starting right now. Communication is very important, especially when you're moving to a new country like Canada. We all speak English, especially from um, different parts of the world. Some countries in the world, um, English isn't their first language, so it's very difficult for them to communicate effectively. But I'm going to be speaking from an African point of view because we do speak English and English is our first language. I'm not sure if you've seen my uh, accent video. It's a very funny video, but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there that we do speak English from where we're coming from. And sometimes it might be very difficult for the Canadians to understand um, to understand what we say. I'm going to give you a, a story about when I first came into Canada and I, I believed I was speaking good English, but each time I spoke to a Canadian, I usually would get them saying, um, can you say that again? Um, what did you just say? Um, I don't think I understand what you're talking about. That's because the way they speak as Canadians is quite different from the way we speak as Africans or any other part of the world. Now, the best way for you to speak to the Canadians is by talking slowly. So you need to speak slowly. I believe I said that correctly. Uh, you need to speak slowly when you're talking, when you're speaking with a Canadian, uh, because when you speak too fast, um, they tend to kind of get confused about what you're talking about. So you need to start speaking slowly so that they can understand every bit of word that you are saying. Secondly, there are certain things that the Canadians uh, usually would say, and there are certain things that the Canadians would usually want to hear from you. And um, when they don't hear or they don't sound, sense that that's what you're trying to say, that's when they get to correct you or that's when they get to tell you, can you repeat yourself again? Because they need to understand what you are saying. Fine, we do speak English, but the way we speak is quite different from theirs, from them. I don't know why English is so difficult. Now, for our kids, when they, first, when they come into this country, it only takes a matter of time and already boom, 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 they're already speaking like the Canadians. It's, I think it's because that they are still very young. They are able to, um, to change the way they speak because they go to school with the Canadian kids. So it's much more easier for them to change the way they speak um, than adults. I know adults, some adults, not every adult, I, I have to be very careful when I say this. Um, usually it's sometimes, depending on your age, your accent would change. Uh, and depending on how long you've stayed in this country, your accent would change. So your accent would not just change automatically. It usually would take some time. But this uh, video today is going to be centered all around how you can communicate effectively. And one way you can communicate effectively with the Canadians is by speaking slowly. Another way you can get to um, speak with them effectively is for you to um, enunciate. Like you need to pronounce, pronounce very, very well so that they can understand what you're saying. Even though they can't really grasp the fact that um, some Africans, they speak too fast and um, it's very, very difficult for them to speak slow. And I do know that some people or some persons from different parts of the world would also tend to speak differently. So when they come into Canada, you know, it's always hard for them to, to blend in. But for sure, if, if English is your first language, you can actually blend in with the Canadians. But if English isn't your first language, you need to devise a way. I know some persons have something set up on their phone where they can actually um, interpret. And uh, so just speak into your, your phone. I think it's, a, it's an app. I can't remember what that app is. You speak into the app and then it kind of translates uh, in English to the Canadians. I, I know people from um, Korea. I usually, I had a friend, a classmate who was from Korea and that's what she did um, for the very first few times she, she got into this country before she started taking her course in um, ASL, uh, English as a, ES. English as a second language, ESL, not ASL, please um, start doing that. So I know fully well that if you are from a country that you speak English, first and foremost, you just need to know fully well that the Canadians, they speak differently. They are not uh, used to the way we speak. They are not used to the way we 
we say things there's certain things that we say and they kind of try to imagine in their mind and what what is this person trying to say so there are certain things that you think that it's okay it's it's normal thing to say but they will be like "Mm, what is she trying to say because they don't understand so you need to speak in a way that they can understand you need to enunciate as well you also need to pronounce your words effectively if you cannot if you cannot if all things go wrong and they still don't understand you write it on paper like take a pen take a paper write it out and show it to them because that way they can understand i'm not i'm not i'm not saying that you don't speak english but if all odds and they don't understand you you can decide to write whatever you're trying to information you're trying to pass across to them on a piece of paper and give it to them or show it to them so that they can understand and sometimes i need to say this very quickly on this video because we tend to make this assumption that everything we say makes sense to the hearers so there's something we need to understand we have a receiver and we have a sender. Sometimes the sender will pass a message, the receiver would not understand or code correctly. So they tend to filter kind of the information that is being passed and they kind of decide, okay, this is what this person is saying. So if, for example, you're speaking with a Canadian, you're trying to say, you know what, I'm trying to find my way, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to go, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. And then the person is confused. Try to say it slowly, or try to say, okay, I want to go here, but I'm not sure how to go. You can also use your fingers. You can also, you know, sign language. <laughs> Even if you don't know how to do sign language, at least you know how to move your fingers, your hands and everything around saying, this is what I want to do. This is what I want not to do. Uh, please guide me or stuff like that. Because I know it's very, very difficult for new immigrants in this country uh, for their very first one, two, three. To one to three months um, to cope with communicating effectively with the Canadians. Take your time. Trust me. After the first three months, you'll be fine, totally fine. It took me a while, but I got to a point where I didn't hear the Canadians saying to me, I don't understand what you're saying. It's going to take time, but you'll get there eventually. So I'm going to end this video right now and ask you a quick question. Have you moved to Canada already? And did you have an issue um, communicating with the Canadians? And how did that feel like for you? Let me know in the comment section. And if you've lived here um, all your life, can you tell us an experience you had with a Canadian when you're speaking English and they didn't understand you? or you're trying to say something and because you didn't say it correctly, it puts you into trouble, let us know in the comment section. And also, if you are planning to come to Canada and you watch this video and you believe that this video would help you or has helped you or has informed you, let me know also in the comment section. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and uh, like this video, share this video with your friends and families who are thinking to move to Canada. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed already. Um, please, I am begging you to please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel to grow. And the minute you start, um, um, liking my videos, like giving my video a thumbs up. YouTube would always recommend my videos to other persons so that they too can be informed about the information that I'm passing across to the public. Um, please don't forget to also turn on your notification bell icon so that you will be the first to know when I upload new videos. And uh, my amazing and my wonderful subscribers, I just want to say thank you so, so very much for always coming back to watch my videos. It's I am so overwhelmed. I don't know how much to say thank you, but thank you is not just going to be enough, but thank you very, very much. And uh, to my new subscribers who have joined the family, thank you for believing in me and thank you for um, clicking on that red subscribe button because it uh, absolutely makes me happy when I see new subscribers on my channel. So thank you so much. Please don't forget to tell your friends about my channel, Brown Sugar TV, because we talk about information that is going to support and help people who are looking to come to this country. So until I see you in my very next video, uh, stay safe and God bless.